Over 10,000 scorpions are kept on this farm in Lagos, each carefully milled for its venom, one of the most expensive liquids in the world. Twice a month, the venom gets carefully extracted from the highly sought-after death stalker and emperor scorpions. After the extraction, we feed them, we nurse them, we prepare them ahead of next extraction. The venom is stored in controlled temperatures, ready for buyers across the pharmaceutical, biotech and cosmetics industries. It contains proteins, enzymes and peptides that can be used in medicine and beauty products. And the market value is staggering. One gallon, which is equivalent to around 3.4 litres, is about 10 million US dollars. However, to get even two meals is a challenge. You know, you can't, you have, you probably have to, uh, you know, milk about thousands of scorpions to have something tangible to sell. Producing scorpion venom is clearly not easy. Farmers say even learning the process is a challenge. We have made our research to the extent that we have been we have been able to extract, because to extract only is not easy. We've, we've, we've met some people online, different countries. Some people have this company they cannot extract. And now there's a sting in the tail. The industry is facing its greatest upheaval since it began around 100 years ago. Scientists are working on synthetic alternatives that may one day replace natural venom that could poison demand and kill prices. For now, Farmers will continue the old-fashioned way. Mohammed's farm has been operating for more than a year, but it has yet to collect even a gallon of venom. And he's not giving up just yet, hoping that the global market will still be there when finally he's ready to go to market and make a killing. Isaac Munoz, TRT World.